So <laughs> here's a question for you. Can you like a set of toy soldiers that you don't like? And now you're thinking, what's he going on about this time? What's he talking about? But anyways, uh, actually, I'm talking about this set, the, the Airfix uh, World War II Russian Infantry. This is the brown box art, and this one is uh, the target box art. kind of differed a little bit. And uh, I guess because I'm a, a target box kid, I don't think this box art kind of evokes a lot of feeling of action and whatever, Especially if you compare it to maybe like the, the British commanders or this or oh, this one. Yeah, the German infantry, this box art, super awesome. And then this one with the big explosion uh, with, the, with the 8th army uh, pushing up. Uh, the Russian box kind of looks so-so mm, as far as, you know, uh, evoking um, <laughs> emotions, I guess. That's <laughs> kind of stupid. But anyways... Uh, but I think I'm confusing this with uh, my adult self and my uh, child self, or whatever you want to call it. Because I started collecting these in, I guess, about 2000, um, 2002 something. And when I got the Russians and I opened the boxes, I was kind of like, eh, these are not that much fun. And the box art wasn't all that cool, you know, kind of, kind of boring poses. But then I realized, wait a minute, that I don't think that's uh, how I looked at these when I was a kid. Uh, because actually I went to my uh, parents' uh, place a few years ago up in the attic and I found this one. It says, uh, Stora Soldater, Large Soldiers. And this is uh, the remnants of my Airfix and Toy Soldier collection when I was a kid. And there's a lot of Russians in here. <laughs> I painted a few of them. Um, I'll show you. Um, let's see. So first you just have your basic, uh, I just did, a, you know, you added a little bit of a, color to the gray and then actually <laughs> this one is kind of funny it's kind of like a german uh, fleck tarn or something uh, <laughs> and then there's this very strange uh, uh, pattern <laughs> uh, which is kind of a light green tan uh, uh, camouflage <laughs> this one is very just very brown but then actually these ones are pretty good i think i had the officer as well I actually painted them with some black boots and um, some brown uniform black weapons. So these are pretty cool. And that's kind of what I mean that uh, as an adult collector, I wasn't all that thrilled about this set. But as a kid, I think I really loved these because I actually had a, like a pretty much a full set of these. And, and that's when I started reevaluating this for making this video and actually realized this is a really good set and it has like no duds. They're all good figures in this set. They were released first in 1969. And then of course you get this type box with um, the rectangular logo on it and you got the white back on it. And this is uh, one of the few sets that actually has uh, two or more there's one, one more that has uh, more than two uh, artworks on this. You'll see that in a later video. So this one, this is the first type artwork. And then they move on to about 1972. You get the round logo. You get a little bit more of a brown back. You still have the same uh, artwork on it. And then in 1973, you get the target box and they actually changed the artwork on it. Uh, and the back changed quite a, a bit also. Um, I'm not sure which one I like the most out of these two though. I think the brown box actually is my favorite out of these two. Uh, even though I'm a target box uh, kind of a guy. And of course, uh, there was uh, five sets released in 1969. The Russians, the German infantry, British commandos, uh, British paratroopers and uh, American infantry. And this is actually one of the few sets. Uh, I'll show you this one. This is actually uh, what I showed you here is the 19... Ooh, let's see. 1976 box uh, and the 1973 target box actually looks like this of course uh, this one is really nice because this i think this matches up really well and looks really cool but the figures actually have a color variation and that's with the 1986 uh, humbrol figures you actually get them in this very kind of it's pretty terrible uh, it's not even brown it's like an orange kind of a color so uh, yeah, I wish they'd done it in a little bit more of a like a brown uh, color like that. So one of the few that actually come in a color variation over the years. So uh, on to the figures. Uh, 
I thought we'd start with uh, maybe the officer, <laughs> it's kind of like always. And I think uh, now you're going to see why this uh, set, I think, really shines because it's not that heavy on a lot of equipment and stuff on them, but like the fine details really stand out and shine on these just because of that. So if you look at the officer, for instance, uh, just all the little creases and everything on the uniform, belt buckle, pockets and everything, all those little fine details just stand out really nicely, I think, just because of you know be, them being kind of uh, simple figures like this with not a lot of stuff on them. And I really like actually this one with th this officer, just with the binoculars like this, not engaging in action or combat. Kind of uh, how the Russians actually did combat back then, you know, a bunch of uh, higher ranking officers, not that many NCOs, so the off high rank officers leading from the rear and just sending uh, waves of soldiers to the front with not much uh, direction. Uh, so I really like this one, it's super cool. On to the next one, uh, Standing Rifleman. Uh, this one is really cool though, uh, actually one of the few sets from Airfix that, that uh, fields a uh, semi-automatic rifle, this one is a Tokarev. Uh, maybe they should have been actually having using the Mosin Nagant, which I think was uh, more common than this one. But anyway, still really cool, gives you a lot of firepower from your standing rifleman uh, as a kid. And, and same with this one, it's got two hand grenades there in the pocket. Um, other than that, basic one ammo pouch, so it's not it's not gonna last that long with the semi-automatic. But anyways, I think you know same with this one, nice clean details, and I think that the stance is uh, appropriate for this time, in in uh, on this in the Second World War. Just nice and clean gives you a lot of firepower for your standing rifleman. And this is kind of unusual. This set actually has uh, three soldiers with submachine guns. You got the kneeling soldier. And they all uh, carry the PPSH with the drum magazine. So what's cool with these is, and they're all, I mean, I really like this with the, with the elbow on the knee like this. So you got this one, which is really cool. And then you got the standing one like this, also a firing pose, which I like. And then you have this one, the running soldier, which I usually don't like. Uh, but this one is actually, he could, you could imagine him actually firing on the move. And that makes this kind of a little thing if, <laughs> if you ever would do uh, like a stop motion or something. This actually could be like the same soldier, first in the prone position and then moving up to another firing position, running, shooting on the move. And then when he gets there, he's standing there firing or whatever he's doing. And then he's back in, in on a kneeling position. So it actually could be the same soldier. And I think that's uh, cool because you don't see that in any other set from Airfix. Another soldier I think actually in this set works. I really don't like uh, soldiers throwing grenades from the prone position because it's kind of hard to chuck them anywhere. You don't get that far. But if you figure in the, is it the tractor works, I think, installing grad right? And you're like really uh, CQB kind of close fighting and you're just behind some kind of machine and this germ is really close. I mean, you're just going to go prone and just chuck those grenades, right? And I think this figure, also because it, it really looks dynamic, it, it, some, it looks like someone actually posed for this one to see how a person looks when they're throwing a grenade from this position. Ah, just, uh, this is really good. It's a very nice little figure. And he's also fielding uh, the Tokara semi-automatic rifle. Really nice. And then, of course, one of the most important figures in a set, the machine gunner. Uh, this one with the drum magazine as well. I can't remember what this gun is called. Please help me out. Uh, basic figure, but really nice. You get three in the set. And this uh, combined with having uh, one soldier with a semi-automatic, Three soldiers with submachine guns and the soldier throwing a grenade also with a semi-automatic. Uh, you got some real firepower in this set. And that's how, how I think I ended up with all those uh, Russians uh, from when I was a kid. Uh, I can't remember if I actually got to buy a full set of these or if I just traded them with friends. But now I can see the, the, the benefit or charm with these that I couldn't see when I started collecting uh, at an adult age. So it got kind of messed up, I think. And uh, 
from being a set I didn't like, now it's a set that I really like. And even though it's kind of hard to figure out where it's going to fit in with, the, you know, if you got your opposing armies, because when I was a kid, we kind of figured the Russians and the Germans were, were the bad guys and all the others were the good guys. And actually the Germans and the Russians fought each other on the Eastern Front. So I'm not sure how you're going to make that work in your mind. But then again, uh, I figured when I was a kid, uh, I had some gray soldiers and maybe I knew they were Russians. And I think these guys were just fighting whoever I fielded against them at the time. And like I said, then they're freaking fantastic little figures. Anyways, figure this is it for this video. Uh, don't forget all this good stuff with liking and subscribing. Uh, I have a Ko-fi page, uh, link in the description, if you want to support me a little bit with some donations. Uh, but other than that, uh, hopefully I see you guys in another video. Cheers! Mm -hmm.